King and Queen of the Ring finals are determined. Bailey in action, a six man tag. Cody Logan face to face before their main event at King and Queen of the Ring in Jeddah. We talk that and more. The Square Circle Digest on the way right now. All right, SmackDown is over. It was live from Riyadh. Or no, I'm sorry, live from Jeddah. Riyadh is where the WWE experience is. And tomorrow afternoon here, 12 p.m., it will be the king and queen of the ring pay-per-views. The finals are determined now as Randy Orton defeated Tama Tonga in a pretty good match, I thought. Overall, Randy got his stuff in. Tama got his stuff in. Solo sticks his nose in. KO comes out. Everybody goes home happy. Randy Orton is moving on and will take on Gunther. Also, I believe a little egg, a little egg may have been placed in there. And now, as yesterday it was announced, Triple H says the winner of the King and Queen of the Ring matches will get title matches at SummerSlam. And you saw a little bit of an egg. Cody's walking to the ring. Randy's kind of there. They say everything. He said, thanks, Coaster. And they shake hands, and Randy is staring down at the title. I honestly thought Gunther would win the King of the Ring, but I am now leaning more toward Randy Orton winning that match to set up for Cody versus Orton at SummerSlam. We've got two pay-per-views, which is Clash at the Castle and Money in the Bank after King and Queen of the Ring leading up to SummerSlam. But I honestly believe at this point now, Randy Orton will win King of the Ring and will take on Cody Rhodes at SummerSlam. I believe that was a little bit of an egg that was being placed. And to be honest, I think also what you'll see at SummerSlam, again, down the road, but I believe as long as CM Punk is healed, the other title will be Drew McIntyre, which I believe he will win it at Clash of the Castle over Damian Priest, and he will head to SummerSlam to take on CM Punk. But right now, I think it will be the winner will be Randy Orton on the SmackDown side. So now Cody will have his opponent for SummerSlam. On the women's side, Nia Jax defeats Bianca Belair clean, but they set it up very well with the knee injury, and they they protected last week uh, Jade with her being disqualified because Nia, you know, went in on her daughter. And now this week, they built up for, what, now two weeks with Bianca's knee, and now the knee gives out. Nia gets the victory. Nia will take on Laya Valkyria. And the interesting thing is... I picked Lyra Valkyria sorry, to win the Queen of the Ring. But now I'm having second thoughts. And that is only because at SummerSlam, I don't believe Becky will be the champion. I believe that Rhea will probably be on her way back. I believe Liv will be somewhere in the title picture if she's not the champion leading to Liv Rhea at SummerSlam. So I'm almost going against myself, and I'm, I'm believing Nia actually will win the Queen of the Ring. You saw her kind of go face-to-face -face with Bailey. We've seen Lyra face-to-face -face with Becky, so it makes sense. I just don't know that Becky's the champion going to SummerSlam. And is it Liv versus Lyra for the championship? I don't know, whereas you can have, and again, Bailey versus Nia, at least you have a, a opponent named for Bailey at that point, and then if Rhea does return from her injury, then it'll be her taking on Liv. But again, yesterday's announcement kind of throws a monkey wrench into me because I thought, okay, Lyra will win it, and it'll start her kind of ascension up into you know a better mid-card main event level um showdown but now with it being the match at SummerSlam I almost feel like they've set it up to where it'll be 
Nia Jax winning it, taking on Bailey, and then also Randy Orton winning it and taking on Cody Rhodes at SummerSlam. We also had a great six-man tag. I thought the Waller effect played out very well. They said they were going to bring out a star, and then Carmelo inter interrupted, said he was him. They had their little powwow, all, you know, working with each other and, and, and making fun of Street Profits and L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight's music hits. L.A. Knight gets in the ring, starts beating up on Carmelo. Of course, there is Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. Street Profits come out, and then the, they make a six-man tag. And Montez Ford picks up the win over Grayson Waller. Will that lead to another tag team match at being added at King and Queen of the Ring? Because also, after Bianca was match, she was in the back being attended to by the doctor. Candice LeRae, Andy Hartwell come up because they are the ones that injured her knee. And um, Jade interjects. And now, apparently, WWE has announced that it will be on the kickoff show Tomorrow, the kickoff show starts at 11 a.m. Eastern, depending where you're at. So it will be Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. I've not seen any other uh, matches being added, but they did kind of look like they're going to go either that or setting up for Street Profits, taking on Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. Bailey also in action against Chelsea Green. Good little fun match. Let Bailey get her moves in. Chelsea got a little bit of her stuff in. And then Piper Niven strikes and leaves Bailey Lang. So it looks like it's going to be maybe at the next pay-per-view after this pay-per-view, which would be Clash of the Castle. Piper Niven might end up getting her shot at Bailey. We'll see. Or will it be Chelsea Green? And then right now it looks like it's Piper Niven. But we shall see. Also, Blair Davenport does do a promo as well as Andrade cut a promo trying to gear up the fans for their arrival on SmackDown. Overall, I thought it was a very, very fun show setting up for the pay-per-view. I'm looking at my notes here, just making sure I hit everything. Solo Sokoa also with Paul Heyman in the back. Talked about why Tonga Lao not in Saudi Arabia, was not allowed to uh, leave the country, basically. And he said, that's the reason we didn't have you know, Tama Tonga, Tonga Leao in the bloodline to begin with. Interesting thing there, noted there. Solo also said he's in charge of the bloodline until Roman comes back. All of this is leading to Roman coming back, I believe, and challenging Solo for, you know, again, it'll probably smooth over, but ultimately there's going to be a civil war. It'll be Solo. Tama, Tonga, and Tonga Leo. I'm guessing Roman Reigns, and at some point the Usos get back together, and and we see how that goes. And then Jacob Fatu is still signed. There's been talks that he's going to be with the Roman side, and then of course The Rock will be with Solo Sokoa. So we'll have to see where all this leads to. But man, it's fun. Um, this pay-per-view at first, uh, you know, this week on our show, we kind of, you know, hinted at oh, there's two pay-per-views. It really didn't feel like it, but the good buildup on Monday and leading into tonight kind of picked up steam for the pay-per-view, which is tomorrow for WWE. And of course, Sunday will be AEW double or nothing. So I appreciate you tuning in. This is the SmackDown recap. All in all, Fun show. I thought it built up very well leading into tomorrow's pay-per-view. We have Randy Orton taking on Gunther. We have Cody against Logan Paul for the title. We have Becky versus Liv Morgan for the title. We also have the Queen of the Ring, Nia Jax taking on Lyra Valkyria. And there's, I believe, one more, and for some reason I'm drawing a blank on that. But you know what it is. And I know you know what it is. Make sure you check out, if you're watching this show, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification, set it up. We'll be doing recap shows. We will hit up the pay-per-views after. We have Collision tomorrow. We have the WWE pay-per-view tomorrow. Also, we do cover NASCAR racing here on the thing, as well as South Florida Sports Talk. So if you're interested in all those, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the notifications. Appreciate all your support.
next time. And don't forget, Tuesday, live, 7 p.m., myself, Frankie Fresco. We go for about two hours talking the latest news and rumors and take in the interaction with you, the fans. Till tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, it will be tomorrow, actually. Yes, tomorrow, the recap. WWE King and Queen of the Ring. Enjoy the pay-per-view.